because basically once we've gone past the airport is here once we kind of get across this big emirates road that to me looks like open ground probably desert and uh, a lot of ease so it's really just navigating this bit and knowing that we can i can run out of here that is a fucking park <laughs> That is the P A T H, a park. Nothing but good news so far. This um, is wonderful news. There's a fucking steps up to the park. You really want to the steps. It's the first yeah, we figured out that bit. I do actually have to go up, up here, and it's going to be. I think it's going to be this one. Razal Pool. I think it's this thing here. Yeah. Like yeah, literally above yeah, us there. Yeah, it is. So I will be doing a bit there, but there was um, there was footpaths, so that's good. Gold. Yeah, now we just need to figure out how to get back round. All right, we're calling it there, nice nice brothers. Brothers. because the thinking is like fail to prepare, prepare to fail. But like the main thing about what we just did was making sure I could get out of the centre of the city. We've seen one one difficult bit, which we've found a resolution to already, which was exactly the way. And then as the route goes. As the route goes, so this is where we figured out we'd be fine until. Um, there's also been a shitload of footpaths, so I have major confidence anyway. This is a residential area. This is the, this is a this isn't even a major road. This Tripoli Street. This is all residential, small road, small road around a park. Um, and then Emirates Road is big, so all I'm doing is getting going under that, and then it's kind of out in the fucking desert which is where I'm really looking forward to being. Trolley cam. Alright lads, the idea is so we might get excited and buy loads of shit yeah. but we'll remember we, we don't need. actually need it. Um, <clears throat> and think of things that are easy so they don't need preparing like we're gonna get some fruit so we'll get some of that mad shit but variety is good and like I said and think of yourselves. In trouble. I'll be able to do it. Dried mango is always nice. Major key to success fucking chips, mate. Of every variety, of every ridge. I mean, juice. I think I'm going to be good because I'm going to have, I'm gonna have Humantra, Red Bull, Coca Cola, and straight coffee. So that's good. Mate, these got me across the US. <laughs> Fucking ruffles. It's a good sign. Pete, Peter John had a um, had an addiction to ruffles, and he it took him it took him a lot to get off them. To be honest, um, something I've learned across ultra journeys is never hit caffeine or sugar too hard too early because it, it can be a powerful thing, and they come with a consequence which is called a crash. So yeah, if you go too early. You'll have this nice progression, you'll feel good for a minute, and then the hours after are gonna suck dick, so make sure you time it well. Um, how fast can you go? <laughs> that is a Coral watch that I just got delivered. Oh, you've got loads of shit coming. Oh, that's rubbish. Um, basically, I haven't had a watch since I lost my last Coros. Oh, let me pay. Oh my gosh, one million. Oh. Since I lost my last Coros after Valencia Marathon, because I left it there. So, Compi. I think these are the best blister passes you can get. But the good thing is I rarely need them. Which is a big flex. Big flex for me. Yeah, we've got some drop. There has been more rain. Uh, and it is predicted to be even more. So the only concern with that is if there's parts of the road tomorrow that are like today that are fucking covered in water. But as we saw most of the way yesterday when we were checking the route, there's a lot of footpaths and yeah, I think we'll be unlucky for there to be that much sand and water tomorrow, but you know, it's part of the game. So just for tomorrow, thinking about things, I would say, I know we'll talk about this when we get home, but first thing, you've always got more time than you think. Like when, you, when I'm going between stations, you've got minimum an hour. Yeah. So you don't need to you don't need to rush things, um, but with that in mind, just think of ways to be efficient. Like we've got those big jugs bottles of water. So tonight we'll put we'll put 
loads of sachets and a few mantra yeah. in it. So we've got two, three, four, whatever already loaded yeah. up with it. Yeah. Got, got a few here, mate. <laughs> Want to talk us through? Feel for all three of us. Um, yeah, I can talk through it. Um, basic food that you're going to want at any time, that on any given day you probably would avoid, basically. Um, <clears throat> mix of high calorie, high salt. Um, it's good that you don't have that much perishable stuff, like it's going to be hot. We've got, obviously got a cool box outside, but that's going to have limited space. And then just variety is king. But yeah, basic stuff. Chips, biscuits, sweets, fucking pastries. Plenty of fruit. I'll enjoy that. Mantra. I think I'll, they'll get exclusively in the bottle. I'm not having anything like salt tabs because these will have these will have enough in. Um, and honestly, on doing these things, having straight up water is a total waste of time. It, if it doesn't have calories or it isn't electrolytes, you may as well not drink it because you're going to be taking up stomach space um, for not much gain. When you do ultra, it's kind of hard to eat enough. Um, it's, it's basically impossible to fuel as much as the calories you're burning. So. Keep it, keep it dense. Obviously, this is a quick, this is a quick challenge. So I don't need to be too concerned with the quality, even though we've gone for, I don't know, some all right stuff. So you know, it's serious. Jeez. Oh, this is such a big change. Such a big change. Such a big change. Such a big change. Yeah, that's a good length, isn't it? Crazy. Good morning. So, brother, here we go. What's the time? It is about quarter past four. Making coffees. Quarter past four. How are you feeling, bro? Yeah, beautiful. Ah, love. Just want to say, we love you, Mandy. And there's always for you. And the strength and love that you've always given Will. We'll be with him today. Amen, brother. Love you, Mandy. See you, take care. Come on. We'll keep it chill for yeah. now. We'll just cruise for like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming to catch you up. Oh, we're off. Get off our hat. Won't be doing that soon. <laughs> We're at our first pit stop, 10 k's in, uh, it's highly likely that he's not going to stop at all, um, but we'll stop every 10 k, get some stuff ready for him, uh, we'll, we'll always refill his little um, water bottles, um, got the Humantra for the electrolytes, the sunscreen, which he doesn't right now, um, Palo Tan, that's a good one for running by the way. So that's us, let's see, but first stop, highly unlikely he'll do anything uh, other than change his waters, but here we go. The man's a couple kgs lighter, hey, yeah. here's a bit of water there champion, nice, bit of electrolytes. You've already there. bought stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got you snacks bro. Alright brother, short and sharp, let's go. Let's go. If he gets to this top, which he will, I'll relax and it'll be fucking so this, this is, is your this is the most tricky spot here. Yeah, this is the trickiest spot. Finding the pit stop. Yeah, up, and then we're going to try and find a stop somewhere close around here. And eventually it's going to open up to be just straight up desert, man. And we'll be stopping with It'll the be, camels. Yeah, desert ramp, bro. We'll just pull up with the camels. It's our boy. This man is so happy. So fucking happy. This dude was so nervous about this part. Come on, William. It's all, it's all easy pit stop from here, right? Easy now. Yeah, yeah. Hello. You're good, brother? Good, thank you. I'm so fucking happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man is so happy with this one. I think that was, um, yeah. That was a bit we had to figure out. You came right, by the way. Made it out the uh, out the shit and into a residential area now, and then once we've navigated this, should just kind of be. I don't know like, what I'm expecting. Although I could be wrong. <coughs> it's just long, straight, maybe dual carriageway roads. 
with uh, plenty of sand either side. So we'll see, but for now, I'm roaming the streets. Ah, shit. This may look good, but I can see the other end, fuckload of water. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's really nice though, fuck. Do I look lonely? I feel lonely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brother. I see. All good? Yeah. So much fruit. Feeling good, bro? She warming up out there? Man, you love the fucking forest. The safari park. Hey, how was it? Any lines? We were actually quite we're worried about it. We no. <laughs> you know how unnerving it is walking through a fucking gate with lines and shit? Yeah. Like? You were like, is that gate meant to be open? I was like, he's definitely going to open up down there. <laughs> Oh. Did you pick the pace up through the safari park? <laughs> nah, because it was well wet and like... <laughs> one poop up. Yeah, three and a half hours ago. Three and a half hours, mate. Right over there at the Burj Khalifa. You can't even see it though. He's, doing, he's, on, he's really pacing it well. How many k's is it in? Uh, we reckon he's around 20 miles in. Gee. So nearly full marathon done. It feels good. He had a little bit of a sludgy bit. Um, but top's off now. Abs are out. He's starting to, to open his legs up. So, sun's out, beautiful day, around 20 degrees. I'm confident he's in a good spirits. We're dominating. We've got some, we've got the protein for the gains. Ring fluid. Just come with something. Yeah. And likewise, if you're both in the car, I'm not doing that. You can always just spin around. Yeah. Pull up next yeah. to me because there's a half shoulder. So yeah. Like, Do I need anything? Yeah. You might say no, but yeah, fair. But. Yeah, as I said, never a better time to do extras. Yeah. Pour some on your Gore-Tex uh, Nike. <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh, cold. Shout out to so Nike. Nike. Okay, so we're going to cool that down because it's getting warm out here. And then... If you grab that, Charles, put that in the ice bucket. New fresh ice. Because she's warming up. And then, next pit stop, the man's going to be cool. Hey, track him there, bros. Heating up out here? Yeah. As it should. Yeah. In the fucking desert. Out here in the desert. Tan's looking good though. Thank God. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Good thing I'm running. <laughs> no walking up there. What is going on? All smiles so far. Um, it's 45 miles done. Uh, 1 p.m. Seven hours. Oh, how is it? Seven hours 42 seconds on the clock. So moving very well. I believe the angels are with us. We've got great cloud cover and a tailwind, and it's not that hot. What can I say? What can I say? I found them. Thought I'd bring you a bit of water. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry, electrolytes. Get that in you. Just yeah, buddy. Get off my ass for a little bit, mate. You know? Yeah, I Scuttle you, along with you. How do you do some roll-ups, eh? Huh? Yeah, I was doing a few push-ups. I found a good uh, bicep curl rock. Yeah? It was great. Bicep. You can do a few curls on your back and you got some time. Yeah, that's a good rock. Yeah, right. Oh, Same size as that? Oh, that's probably, that's about a 30 kg. I was probably on about 15. That's nice. <laughs> Looking good, brother. It's gonna be a long day. Hey. It's gonna be a long day. Mate, it's a good day. It's a good day. You the boys? Hey, bro. Okay. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. Can Welcome. I get this in? Can I get this in? Got a new recruit out here. Yeah. Good to have you, brother. 
You gonna clock a few Ks today? Yeah, we'll try. We'll try and get the most. What do you reckon, like? The most I've done was 21, so I need to beat that. She, I reckon Maybe you're gonna 30, get. 30, 40. I reckon you're gonna clock that 40, and when you get to 40, full, you might have another 10 in the bank. Because the moral of the story is. When you feel tired, you just think how this guy feels. He's already been going, so you just keep cracking can't complain. on, bro. Mind over body. Good to have you here, man. Thank you. He really actually hasn't taken a break. So every pit stop, he hasn't actually stopped. He's just grabbed his food or drink, and he's been on his way. He had a little break, shook the legs out, changed the shoes. So he, he probably stopped for about three minutes. So considering he's been going since four or five a.m., uh, this is his first stop, and it's uh, wait. The time is, what's the time, Charlie? 2.30. He's been eight hours. Damn, that's impressive. Let's go, brother. She's fucking hot out here, brother. Uh, Dig it in. Perfect, you got it, bro. Here we are. He's done, this is ahead of time. He's done 57 miles in, in just over 10 hours. Next two stops are gonna be super important. I want to try and get him some warm food from somewhere as well. Mm. Not that he'll want it, but he might, if he sees it, he may just smash it. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I just feel yeah, that's so. it now. The fuel bit, this is going to drain him. He needs to drink a little bit more. Yeah, she's really eager up. This now is the route on Strava, and we can't drive down there. I'm just trying to work out the next available place that we can meet Will with the car, but I'm debating sending one of our speed squad out to go and guide him around this little bit. Do you reckon we're going to make it out of here alive? I think we'll definitely make it out alive, yeah, but it's whether we have to turn around. We ain't going to get out that way, okay. uh, we're so we're going to go around. around but right. You guys are good. We'll meet you up on the road. Yeah. Right, sounds good. Okay, See keep you at it. Good luck. Keep going, boys. Sun is setting. Me and Saeed out in the sand. Uh, we're facing an issue though. <clears throat> the way the route was taking us is totally fenced off and it's not the kind of fence you can climb. I guess I could dig under it, but not going to do that. So we're going all the way down Emirates Road and then because we're hugging it basically on this road and then hopefully we can get into, Al I think it's called Al Fayyad and we can join back up with the route. Whoops. Yeah, boys. That was a long shift. How are you doing? The Krispy Kremes now. Well yeah, bro. I've been Good doing time the donut. Krispy Kremes. They got Where deserved one now. Grab those, Lily. Thank you. How are you feeling? Do you want to have this for us next time? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll go incognito. Nice. Because I don't want to be responsible for life or getting arrested. So. You earned that donut, bro. You deserve it. Yeah. Food of champion. Yeah. So, we've had a big uh, adventure, training for a pretty big race out in the desert. So you had a pretty good long training run out here, bro. How many miles did you manage to clock? 82. 82, not bad. That's what, a third of what might happen later on in the year in the desert? Yeah, Utah. Some good training, bro. Had a good crew out here. Great crew. Great crew. Love it. So good. Our boy Saeed. Good Clocked shit. his PBKs out here. 35. Let's go. The man could have kept going too easy. Yeah, he's still warming up. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm good. You good? Charlie? I'm wait until the car's packed, otherwise yeah. I'm just it. Couldn't have done it without you, bro. We, we probably would have got lost too many times. Libby, great impact, that. Great impact. Came off the bench. Came off for the last <laughs> uh, last quarter of the match. Very really strong. great impact. Really brought the energy. And you? Uh, you, you guys know me, you know that's just what I do, uh, nothing needs to be said. 